and it's so sad that things are taking a toll over Christian CMRs because you have to understand before most of you guys come out I could not believe it when Miguel Belgium and see a Rasta Rasta artist the Rasta gone all the way to Europe and near more white man in Europe I could not even believe it Blessed day my people saying so today's video we're gonna talk about bounty killer and also we're gonna talk about dancehall queen spice spice make a post on her ig page and basically her show said bounty killer is giving her a lot of respect and also she made a public service announcement as it relates to some of the people who know rate her you understand so if you know rate spice this post is definitely going to hurt your feelings. You understand what I say? But separately from that, we're going to talk about Dr. Love doing an Instagram live and revealing that a popular Rasta artist was caught eating the forbidden fruit in a Europe. Yes, my people. So you don't know we are talking about a big, big artist where a lot of want to look up to, a lot of want to rate, a lot of want to respect. So I'm going to play the video so you can hear what Dr. Love have to say as it relates to that. Also, we're going to talk about Minister Marian Hall revealing to the public the reason why she will be performing at this year's stage in a Reggae Sun Fest. Yes, my people. You don't know some people feel like say, she shouldn't go and perform because of the, the type of event that, you know, it's not a gospel event. So they feel like say, she shouldn't go there and perform. But she actually revealed the truth as to why she will be performing at Reggae Sunfest. So we're going to talk about that a little bit more. And also we're going to talk about female artist Dove Magnum. We're speaking on CMR, Shani and also Chrissy. The whole situation, Dove Magnum actually expressed how she feel about all of that. You understand people so when you definitely need to stick around for hear what she had to say and also we're going to talk about a leaked triple x tape that was released on the internet and this tape is with um the rapper named 69 and him ex-girlfriend named jade you understand me some more people me see it me watch it me have it but you don't know the thing we're going to talk about the tape a little bit more and stuff like that you understand also we're going to talk about footer hype who reveal some information as it relates to protege chronics and also coffee you understand people so when you definitely don't want to miss what footer hype had to say as it was a very interesting conversation you understand what i say and also we're going to talk about the five star general bounty killer revealing some stuff during an interview that he actually got shot at the age of 16 you understand and you don't know bounty did a hang around with like some wrong set of people and him basically break down the whole situation so I'm going to some more information on that. You understand, people? But before I go no further into the topics, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and make sure you turn the notification bell for all. That way you can get notified when I post a new video. First thing we're going to talk about is Spice and the post that she made on her Instagram page, basically revealing that Bounty commented and let everybody know that Spice is the baddest woman about here. And who want vex can go vex, you understand? So Bounty actually left that comment under a post that Spice made, she actually pin it and things in. And basically, Bounty, as me say, say, baddest woman about ya, a who vex. Spice respond and say, Bounty, the goat and my inspiration don't talk. Bounty respond and say, Spice, only a goat knows a goat. 25 years of dominance, it's over. No other ain't near or close. Stay great and grateful, Grace. We love you, girl. Now, when she posted that in the caption, she basically said, Public service announcement. All I own rate me, not have to rate me again. Trust me, from the baddest and the greatest to ever do it, rate me, then my good. Bounty killer, the greatest of all time has spoken. Let me close the door and cut my tent and read newspaper. Bye. For your information, I still scream and go on real bad and frightened when Bounty Killer talk. Who don't like it? Bite it with some laughing emojis. as it. So, they don't know say Bounty and Spice. Just to give each other some respect. Of course, Bounty is one of Spice's biggest inspiration. And one of the artists they will always show a lot of respect. Call her up on stage from she's a young, young entertainer remember so she said bounty you noir know, from shower 14 a long time that you know my people you understand so spice are do our thing bounty are doing thing you understand so let me know what you guys think about this is spice the baddest female artist to ever do it i want to tell me in the comment section is it all right people so now we're going to talk about dr love who went live on instagram and revealed that a popular Rastafarian artist was caught eating the forbidden fruit in Europe, is it? 
Now, Dr. Love never got too far in a name calling Zine, so we don't know which artist him attack. But you don't know him as swear and him as say this and that. So I am not saying that what he is saying is true, but I am not saying that it's a lie. I don't know. You don't have to listen and judge it for yourself, you understand? But it's not a surprise if I saw it go, because you know, everybody will have locks on them head, a real rasta, you understand? But as it relates to which artist, him say one big artist, one big, big artist. So you know, can go and figure out the rest for yourself, you see my people? So listen to what Dr. Love have to say. I go to Europe. Me go to Europe, people. Me go to um, Belgium. And I could not believe it. When me go to Belgium and see a Rasta, Rasta artist, we always dip on stage and jump up and I carry on. Me not like him, but they rate the Rasta. Come and say, yo, that man, they are real Rasta, you know. Yeah, man, I like all the Rasta. I want to touch Rasta, having key and everything. And when I go to Europe, I cannot believe, say, the Rasta gone all the way to Europe and near more white man in Europe. I could not even believe it. And when I hear about it, I never believed that it was true. Until me see the Rasta, myself, and the same person, when them say the Rasta I eat. And me hear one conversation, and when me hear the conversation, me I say, me I say about wait. Then me no can go away, so sit down the Rasta, Rasta, and pum pum. Me can sit down the Rasta. Because the Rasta in the same category, all the way there, so pum pum eat, and me I say, and every time I see the Rasta online, I swear to God up above. My heart pain me. I say, yo, Janu Ras, Ras, put on the torch, Ras, Ras, put on the cane. Ras, take off the turban. Ras, stop that silly I think the Ras, stop it, please. Ras, 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 bow and stop. God believe me up above. Me cannot believe that the Rasta involved in a somewhat nastiness. And you know what burned me about it? This is what burned me about the whole thing, people. And this is not... This is not a story me I make up. God believe me. You know what burn me? Who can tell me what burn me about the whole situation? Who can tell me what burn me about the Ras? Let me see who can think what burn me with the Ras. What really burn me till every time I see the Ras there, I said January Ras. 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 Who can tell me what burn me about the Ras there? Hmm? What bug me about the Ras? Every time, every time I see the Ras by line, I tell you, it bug me. Nobody know? As God leave it up above. And this is not a story or, or a life, we just do a life. This is a fact, I tell you. Right? What bug me about the Ras, people? What really bug me and bother me about the Ras? What burn me about the Ras? The white man of the Ras and like scrap metal. That's how I burn me. The, the woman with the Ras look like a scrap metal. That's how I burn me about it. All right, my people. So I don't know which artist I'm talking about. I'm not going to call no name. I'm not going to try to even guess or spell. Unless him forward out and see what we might talk about. But then I go just leave the video right here. You understand me and some more people? Because no want to look like me and try to set up no man or anything like that. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Minister Marian Hall, who reveals the reason why she will be performing at Reggae Sunfest. You understand, people? So basically, she'll go for win souls. So you don't know them say, if you want to win the souls, you have to go in amongst the, um, what you call it, them people who are not Christian and thing, and a whole heap of them people are go there at Reggae Sunfest. So that is what she plan to do, you understand? And she also make it be known, say her performance is not going to be boring. She going to bring like an energetic type of performance, you understand? Because some people feel such a, you know, she's now a minister and thing, her performance now going to be like one time. No, she going to bring the fire come see me, you understand? But the reason why she have forward armor, should I say, one of the reasons why she have forward are because she want to win souls and things, you understand, people? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Dovey Magnum, who 
went to Instagram live and during the Instagram live she basically talked about the whole CMR situation Zane, and she basically said that everybody makes mistake and thing. You don't know she has share her opinion and she really think that CMR is a good guy who does actually make a mistake. You understand people? So I play the video now and like me say every single body have them opinions. Some people feel sorry for CMR and him family as it relates to this whole situation. Some people don't really care. Some people don't like him. Some you understand everybody does have different opinions as it relates to this. So Dove Magnum, she's a friend. Well, me know I say friend, but me know she she knows CMR and she know Christian things in so she know them personally, so I guess for your opinion, someone can take it and understand it from somebody's point of view who actually know both of them. Is it my people? So, yeah, listen this. Wait, don't use this same girl. Then I remember her face, because when them give me try to come talk to me story, I like them to call me so I see who I'm talking to, because I don't just talk to people online. And I remember her face. I don't remember what came out of that story. And it's so sad that things are taking a toll over Christian CMRs. Because you have to understand, before most of you guys come out, me and Chrissy are, we are friends. And my God, Chrissy owes me eat, my drink. Chrissy tore with me to my face, all of that. So I know, I know that their love and marriage and them something they never did for no internet. You feel me? Fire them I come from and why rough no blood clot. I am praying from the bottom of my heart that God give them peace. And God keep them together. Because we all make mistakes. We all fall short. And I'm not judging anyone. I'm not judging the female. And I'm not judging the male. I'm just saying. We all make mistakes. Things do happen in life that will overturn certain things. What I would love, you see, everybody with up on their life, I said they would love them fix things, write it, share it, tag them with a prayer, with words of love, words of happiness, words of forgiveness, words of mistake, Eh? We can do that, you know. If you notice out there on the media, the jokes, the tear down, the memes and the f***ing is more than the ones them that want to see it work or fix. Because one thing I know in life, you see broken crayons can still color. And I said this in my intro for a song when I came out of ice. Broken crayons can steal color. You have a crayon and if it's broken up in pieces, from you can grip piece to color, all right? There's hope. You hear me? Broken crayons can steal color. You see, the same way, the ones them over there running and rejoicing and doing all of the most, the ones them I want to see them build together is not because of their love life or them life. It's for the life that they build for those kids. From nothing to something. Other than what they show you guys on the internet. Other than what you guys grew to love from the Carter vlog. It's beautiful other than seeing what's on the internet. I remember say, me and Chrissy are best friend. We don't talk every day. I can't tell when last. I speak to Chrissy. I, I'm not even following Chrissy because I can't follow her page. 
I'm shut up and she have to follow me for me to follow her back. And she don't follow me on this page. But see him or I follow him because he follow me. And I haven't spoke to Chrissy in a while. But I don't have to speak to you to give you love and wish the best. But what I'm saying, if everybody feel the same way I feel. And like I said, I'm not bashing the man or the woman or the family. I'm talking about fixture. The same way the memes them are run up and down. And all of them things there. At the same way. At the same way. Only can send good wishes. You know what hurt me? Alright, my people. And I also see a post over from Pink Wall. Basically, the poster said that CMR um, remove all of the photos them and find Instagram page with him and Chrissy Anderson people. So, I don't know, people, if him remove it or if him hide it or whatever. But, you know, so right now, every single body does a watch every single thing as it relates to CMR zine. So, as I say, somebody sent in a post here saying, hide my ID, Pinky. Then, you know, she says, CMR remove all of him and Chrissy pick together off his Instagram so I don't know. Uno can go check it out and see where it, see what is what or whatever it may be, is it? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about an XXX tape that was leaked on the internet recently with the rapper 6 9 and his ex-girlfriend Jade. You understand me and some of people and me now go around you. Me have it, me see it, me watch it, all of them things there and it, <laughs> boy, oh boy. I don't know, I better that whoever leak it, wicked. Because it certainly don't make him look like he ma do any damage to the girl. You understand me some people? And even when the video done, I hear her say something about two minutes. I don't really hear fully what she said, but it's like she said something about two minutes. And when I look, I see it end in a two minutes. You understand? So I'm not sure if she laugh or fine and I say a two minutes him last or whatever it may be. I don't really know. But the whole thing does come in like a gimmick. You understand what I say? And of course, you know, say six nine female name was in a Wolipa controversy and even recently some man rushed him in a um a gym in a Florida, I believe. I think a Florida. Yeah, some man rushed him and them, you know, beat him up and all of that. So 6 9 name, it kind of hot right about now. And especially how the tape you forward out and thing. So, of course, people are going to talk about him. Now, as to who leak it, I don't really know. I don't feel like the girl do it because it kind of seems like the girl move on and she don't really want to associate herself with him anymore. So, I don't think she put it out there for getting no clout off of him because you know, say 6 9 was one of the hottest rappers at one time, but. Things have definitely changed as we can see. You understand, people? So I don't know, but it's out there. So I just there talk about it and who oh, watch it, watch it. You can tell me anything about it in the comment section. Is it? All right, so we're going to talk about Footer Hype now, who recently did an Instagram live. And during the live, he was speaking about um, Chronix, Protege, and Coffee. You understand what I say? And Footer Hype is basically saying that Chronix is trying to step away from Coffee. And of course, you don't know why, because Coffee Name has been called into certain type of things. And even after she did this song recently with Sam Smith, that kind of make things worse, where we see even man like Futa Hype forward out now, and him about out Coffee, you understand people? So, I'm going to play this video, and as usual, only can tell me anything about this, you understand people? So, yeah. Himself, when himself, I sell him out for street credit, yeah. that. think about this Futa. If you know say me sell you out of street cred by coming and talking the truth to the people and telling the people and the truth, which the truth is no one want to mention anything about coffee. That is the truth. Everybody more silent, except everybody footer. quiet, except and nobody no want to say nothing. Except footer. And me I talk about the youth them way would have an expectation say them would should have said something because them them hunks are and them must be promoter. No. If you know say that is the thing for give you the street cred. Why you not come exactly. say what me say? Exactly. Why you are allow me to take the street why from in the you? Why you never say what me say? Good. Why you not say what me say? Fear and take, take it for yourself. So me never have to come and come say nothing. Take it and go on with it. Because that show you say, whatever deal these people make, because that my mind come to know. You know. These people, I don't know, I don't ask all of them, because I, mean, I said this thing of that. They might, they might not agree. But I tell you, say, it's a chronic, so I put him on a watch alert. Because him... Yeah, no, no. We're good. 
You know why? Man, I realize that. Man, I got my drift. Yeah. Him, him, not really. Yes. Here, I try. I try on everything. We talk. We know enough things in a Benji. Watch this. Who did it there? Yeah, me there so now. One yes, year, um, them they on a acre, up a skyline up there, so, right? So, yeah. Kabaka there, there. Kranix there, there. Proto there, there. Gang there, there, right? So, Kranix yeah. like, can they have a burning issue if you take up with Proto? Because through me, I burn the fire. I remember they hear everything when I say now. You understand what I'm saying? So, mm. Kranix call him in a corner and I drop him up on the wall. The same thing in the channel. The same coffee. The same coffee thing, right? But them now make it public. You understand what I'm saying? So, in of them surrounding, but them don't know me have people around everybody. So, me I hear everything about me. I have to go up and come to hear me have people where they're right there. We are, 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 when we are here, we are and in real life, in real time. See? See? So, boom, so now, yeah. it's like Chronix not to agree with everything we are going. But if now come out, come show them and they go mm -hmm. publicly. So, when I do my take time, take for himself. Mm -hmm. If you notice, so I move, him not really want mm -hmm. up front too much like I'm used to be with them. But him can't run away from him, create. Yeah. All right, so how that I go on, my people? When you can tell me if you don't believe that Kranix I try sidestep coffee, him now I try to associate himself with her anymore, or do you think that Futa Hype is just speaking out loud and that is not the case? Is it? Leave it in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the five star general bounty killer who did an interview recently, and during the interview, he revealed that he actually got corned at the age of 16. I guess him did a follow a certain company and all of that. So let me get into this article so I understand what's going on. Is it? So the article is saying, Me no bad, I want bad. Bounty killer speaks candidly about getting involved with the wrong people and getting con at the age of 16. Bounty killer may be one of Jamaica's most famous dancehall artists known for his bad man persona. But in a recent interview, the DJ spoke candidly about getting involved with the wrong people and getting corn at the age of 16. When asked in an interview with I Never Knew TV why he believed most people got involved in illicit activities, Bounty shared his own story of the regrettable decision that ultimately could have claimed his life. The Benz and the Bima artist said he was fascinated with the men from his community who live that kind of lifestyle and girls always gravitated towards the bad boys bound to explain that after he was severely reprimanded by his father for wearing shoes that he had bought for a special occasion to a party he wanted to be more independent and started hustling when he was around 12 or 13 bounty began to drift away from his father and gravitated towards the gangsters that had always fascinated him his new choice of acquaintances eventually led him to get in SHOT and force him to return home ashamed. As his parents had warned him on many occasions, when me get con when me are 16, me no bother want bad. If as a badness feeling in my ribs, me no bother want no more. Bounty stated, the DJ said that after the experience, he realized he needed to go back to being a kid and the incident later inspired his song, Copper Shot. Though he has become infamous for being the cross, angry, miserable DJ in dancehall, Bounty insists that he's passed that stage in life and went on to talk about maturing over the years. According to the artist, he is no longer blinded by pride or ego, which influences his behavior in the past. Bounty outlined that, he, that the love he has received from the Jamaican people had contributed immensely to his growth as an individual. So, sometimes you go through certain things and it changes you for the better. You understand what I say? And we're glad to say it's not a case where Bounty end up you understand him never lose him life or end up like maybe paralyzed. However, you understand how me some more people. So it's definitely a good look. Big up yourself, you're a bounty and just continue to be a good inspiration for, you know, a lot of the upcoming artists. Them. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.